everybody welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna do a little mini unboxing haul i got some items from syllaboo and then like two items from amazon so i wanted to show you guys that so i think i'm gonna show you guys first what i got from amazon real quick this ones are some nail tips these are professional nail tips from uh bellafin there are 200 pieces in here it has the size from 1 through 10. And I typically just use these for my silicone hands. I already opened one just to see if they actually do fit my silicone hands. And unfortunately, it does not fit on the pinky. The nail tips in here are pretty big. But they're the ones that I was actually looking for because... Um, they don't have a lot of curvature towards the end since they're like full covers. They're kind of flat opposed to other ones that have more of an apex. I don't know if you can see, but they're pretty flat. So typically I insert them like this. So this part is like towards the um, end of the nail. Like, let me show you guys. Hold on. Let me show you. So here I have my silicone hand. I already put some in as you can see they're pretty flat and i like that but for this one right here it's just it's not gonna fit at all so i don't know what i'm gonna do but i do like it i do like it i'll figure it out how i'm gonna work with the pinky one so i got two in naturals and then two in clear So, as you can see, two naturals and two in clear. I think, this, honestly, I think they were only like five, six dollars each for a hundred pieces. Uh, if I could open it, there we go. Clear. I wish they had like a smaller size than what they have for the smallest on this little case of nail tips. But yeah. I got those. So let's move on to the big items that I'm pretty excited about. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got in here. It came nicely wrapped. It has some bubble wrap. Let's throw that to the side. Let me take all these things out of the box. Let's move this. And I will tell you guys the price if I can remember them, okay? Or I'll put them on the screen. Who knows? So let's go ahead and get started with the, the first one from the nail. This one is the uh, the gleam of sunlight on the water. So it's, this one is the water gleam um, set. The box is pretty. How it came it did come a little damaged oh that sucks i always like to keep the boxes because it just it looks more presentable especially when you have them on display and it comes with like a little swatch card so let's see how this one looks this one is the fg82 So this one is a cataract effect. So let me go ahead and bring my little silicone hand here and swatch some for you guys. Well, actually, just I'm just going to swatch one. So I'm going to pick one. So I'm going to show you guys. So this one's the blue one. How pretty. Can't wait to see what or how it looks when it's swatched. This one is FG81. The purple one look how pretty and before i actually try them on clients i tend to use them on myself to see how long they last fg80 because i don't want a client to say oh it's you know it's chipping you know stuff like that if i know a product works i'm definitely going to use it on a client this one is fg79 Ooh, this one has like a hue of blue in there. So pretty. So 
I guess it's just kind of like it gives you that water effect. So this one is FG83. Oh, it's a gold one. So I wonder which color I'm going to pick because I want my nails to look pretty for the Barbie movie. So this one is FG84. It's more like a nude color. So pretty. Look at that. And this one's like a more pinky. And the bottles itself, it's like glittery. Yeah, FG85. Look at that. That's like a nice little light pink. And this one is FG86. Ooh, it's more of a nude. The other one was like a lighter nude, but this one's like a darker nude, like a rose gold type. And again, look at that model. Pretty. And it does come with like a magnetic one. So let's see what color should I pick. Let's try this one. The light purple one. So I'm gonna open this one, the magnetic one. And try it with you guys let me set up my little lamp okay let's see i think these will look nice underneath like a light purple color look at that can you guys see that i will zoom in so you guys can see don't mind my rough hands they look like that they go through a lot especially when I work out. So, you can see that is so pretty. Yeah, I, I don't know if the camera is gonna do it justice, but um, it has like pink, blue, like silver hues in there. It's so pretty. So let's go ahead and let's move it to the front. To the side so I would typically do I would do two layers of that color so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch not swatch cure this for 30 seconds but I think this one was, let me look at my phone. Let me look at my phone and see. So this set right here is 116. I think I got it on sale, you guys. I did use a discount code. So I really like this. I was pretty excited about this particular set because when I saw it swatch I was like man it really reminds me of water so let's see if my thing finished curing yes it did so let's go ahead and take that one out and I let's see let's go ahead and add another layer so you guys can see it see if you guys hear my air my air is on it's blasting it's super hot here <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get near the cuticle area once again like i said i think this would look nice with a color underneath i think it would just pop out the color even more there we go look how that looks it looks more intense so let's go ahead Honestly, I really do enjoy Korean products. I It turned out that I was not allergic to Korean products. That's why I invested more in Korean products, especially for nails. I don't want to get overexposed. And I realized that a lot of the products that are made with different companies, they just... It caused allergic reaction to me and I don't want my health to decline because of that and make me stop doing what I really like doing. Let's move on with this one right here. This one is the Starlet. This one's from, which one is this one? From 
Myth Milo. I think that's what it's called. Um, I don't owe any of their products. This is the first item that I have from them, from this specific brand. And of course, Syllable carries this brand. So um, here is the swatch card. And the swatch card is so pretty. You guys see that? And they all come individually wrapped. So this one is SL01. So it's like a purple. This ones are glittery. Glittery. <laughs> These are glitter gel polish. So this is how the bottle looks. Hmm. The bottle itself is pretty small. I mean, most Korean products are pretty small. They're not like American size. This one is an American size one. This one's 10 mils. Actually, I don't even know. Um, okay, so this one definitely has less product. This one is 0 0.35 ounces. So, yeah, it has a little less product. Okay. So this one, this is how this one looks. Ooh, look at that. It's very glittery. I enjoy glittery stuff. <laughs> so it's like a white one. Like a white silver one. Let's put that one back. Once again, I like trying the items on myself first before I just, you know, show them to my clients and stuff. So this one is SL02. It's like a nude color. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It has like different iridescence in there, like gold, pink. Oh, so pretty. So this one is zero, I mean, zero three SL, zero three. This one is a yellow one. They look like little lipsticks. Ooh, this one's like a yellow gold. It has as well pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. Pink, some red, orange in there. It's so pretty. Definitely pretty. I really like this. I'm very surprised I actually like this one. So this one is a green one. So this one's zero 04. It's like a light green, a pale green. Ooh. So they all have like these undertones in them and then like a slight little light green in their pigment. Yeah, let's see. And this one's a blue one. So zero five. Look at that. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a blue. It has like blue hues in them. Ooh, I really like this one. Okay, so let's see. The last one, it's like a a purple one. This one's zero six. Again, it's going to have like that purple hue in there as well. It's like more like a pink, but it's still purple. Very lilac. And then it has all those beautiful glitter specks in there. <laughs> so I think I'm going to swatch the blue one. Yeah. Okay. So let's get my little hand. Oops. I moved the camera. Mm, let's try the blue one. Let's see how this one looks. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. How pretty is that? Ooh, I can't wait to use that. <laughs> Ooh, they're all so pretty. And I will tell you guys the price. Ooh. So it applies really nice. I thought it was gonna be kind of chunky, but I really like that it's not chunky glitter. It would definitely look nice on different colors underneath. Look at that, it looks. Just one layer. Let me go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna apply two coats just so I could see how pigmented they look. Can. 
Ooh, look how pretty that looks. It does punch a color in there. Very pretty. I personally like glitter nails. They just speak to me. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> like I said, it brings the swatch card and they all come individually wrapped. <sighs> Let's see. I think all of them are syrup colors as well. And then two, it comes with two glitters. So this one's the one, the two glitters. And the actual model is slightly different, slightly it's the same, same shape. Oh, it actually comes with a swatch. I'm surprised. <laughs> so that's how that one looks. We'll open it for you guys. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. So it will look nice on top of these um, gel polishes. They're syrup kind. But I do want to say that they're more of an autumn colors. I really want to get ready for autumn. And that's why I, I chose this, this set. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys how much the other kit was or the other set. Okay, so this one is how that one looks. How pretty. It's like a rose gold glitter in there. So pretty. Okay. So I will swatch one of the glitters on top of the syrups just for you guys. So the other one that I showed you guys prior to this one, that one was $81. I think, like I said, I stated before, these ones were on sale or I did use a discount code. Okay. So let's start with 07. It's a purple. very syrupy i know it looks kind of opaque but it's not it's very syrupy consistency this one's like a gray once again i said it's more of an autumn colors i don't have a syrup gray so i was pretty excited to get this set i realized that I do like very opaque gel polishes, but I do like syrup gel polish consistencies because you could do so many things. You could do ombres and it's just endless ideas that you could do with syrup gel polishes. So this one is 09. It's like a, like a yellow ochre type of color. Um, okay, so it's different. So it's not going to match this part right here on this one but it's very toned down, muted. A little bit darker, but muted. It's kind of like a nude, I would say. You could definitely use it like a nude color. So, this one is a green. Ooh, look at that. Very sheer. I like that. And let's see. And then this one is 011, a brown syrup. Ooh. It kind of reminds me of this one right here, but more darker. So, yeah, I like it. Again, I, like I said, this one is more for autumn colors. This one's 012. It's a red color. Ooh. Can't wait. Uh, so it's not really like a red it's toned down again very toned down I think I'm gonna try the the red one I'm gonna swatch it for you guys for the green one actually I'm gonna swatch this one so you guys can see what I'm talking about swatch this let's clean the brush up a little bit and I'm gonna move this now to a one of my darker shades of silicone hands. So you guys can see. Actually, I don't even have a hand. It's a finger. <laughs> but it's such a pretty shade. I like it. 
Obviously, you're not going to really see the sheerness of this, especially since I did it on a natural tip color. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and um, cure this. I like how it self-levels by itself. It doesn't leave, like, any streaks or anything like that. So let me put a, a clear one on this one so you guys can see. And this one's too big. <laughs> Let's see. This, come on. Let me flip this around. And there we go. Let me go ahead and put the clip in there. Okay. Okay. Look. This is what I was talking about. Look how pretty it looks on a darker skin color. Like, it just, it's so pretty to me. You don't even have to bring it all the way to the cuticle area. You could just like halfways and then blend it. It will look so pretty. Like, very natural. And to be honest, I think I would just do one layer on this because I want a sheer nude one. Ooh, look how pretty that looks. Okay. Let me cure that one. And then I'm gonna add one of those glitters on top. And I think I'm gonna go with the hmm, red one or gold one first. S02. No, I don't like it. I mean, I do like it. I just don't like it for this shade right here. <laughs> so, it's D01 that I'm going to be using the glitter one. I really like this color. So, that's how it's going to look with this glitter on top oh yeah it's so pretty look at that Yee. I like it oh yeah that looks so pretty There we go. Look how pretty. So I wanted to show you guys the nails up close. So that's how that looks. Look how pretty. They're also pretty. But look, look how it makes a difference, the skin, the skin undertone. So I really like having a wide range of nudes for all my clients. So yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys until next time. Bye.